Hello friends. In our earlier session, we saw that Mr. Daniel's company has came out with an IPO, and he issued 1,000 equity shares. And being owners, all the shareholder shares profits of the company. So previously, in case of partnership, there were only few members who were sharing profits, and now there are thousands of owners. Now, Mr. Daniel is happy, and his company is growing at a very rapid pace. He also has a plan for expansion, but again needs money for that. So, he thought of borrowing funds from the market, which can be repaid when enough cash is generated. Because this time, he is very confident about future of his company, and he expects very good return on investment. Plus, he is also sure of generating lots of cash from business in next few years. So he researched for some good funding plans, but their interest was very high, comparable to the rate of return from business. It means that the funding cost should be less than the revenue of the business. So he came to us for consultation with all such questions in his mind. which we address systematically this was a conversation we had with him daniel asked if it would be possible for the company to decide the interest rate and terms on which they can borrow funds do they have those rights yes one option which we have is debenture and we have discussed it earlier through debenture you can increase funds without raising share capital or approaching any financial institution this is done by issuing a debenture certificate to the public which is for a fixed period of time and at a fixed rate of interest the holder of this certificate becomes the debenture holder of the company uh, these are some features of issuing debentures it is a debt it shows the amount and date of repayment of loan the interest rate and date of repayment should be disclosed in company's documents the interest is charged against profit and hence it is a tax deductible expenditure it is a secured investment interest on debenture is payable even if there is a loss in the business so yes debentures will be more beneficial than approaching any financial institutions now you might be thinking whether raising new shares is more profitable than debenture let's take an example to understand this and then you can decide which option will be beneficial suppose there are two companies one which is issuing shares for funds another which is issuing debentures so now here there are 2000 shareholders and here 1000 are shareholders and 5% debentures amounting to 1 lakh now say companies are earning same profit of 20000 and return on investment is 10% so in the first case the profit will be shared amongst all the shareholders so each one will get 10 bucks and in second case let's say debenture interest is 5000 and after deducting that profit will get distributed amongst 1000 shareholders resulting in more profit here which is 15 bucks so here we can say less profit for each shareholder and here more profit for each shareholder this can't be same in every case here it is possible because the return on investment is less than the interest rate Daniel got the difference but he was wondering why would the general public opt for debenture when they have so many advantages becoming a shareholder So people who prefer fixed rate of return will invest in debentures whereas those who can afford to take risk might go for shares And even if debenture holders don't carry any rights being a creditor of a company they are always paid first at a time of shutting down or liquidation also the debentures can be mortgaged 
means investor can get security against debentures hence it is a secured investment but this is not the case of shares there is also possibility in certain cases to issue convertible debenture where they can convert it into shares at a later stage this will see in detail sometimes so these are the few more points have a look at it daniel seemed convinced but again he asked on what basis should they issue debentures can you tell me something about that are there any different types so types of debentures are based on different factors and depending upon what rights you want the debenture holder to have you can then take a call this is very huge topic but i will try to explain so you get a brief idea it may take a while so don't worry you can interrupt me or stop me when you have any difficulty one such type as mentioned earlier is convertible debenture now in daniel's case company cannot bear the expenses of paying out huge interest rates to debenture holders for a long period so instead they may issue these convertible debentures which later will give the debenture holder right to convert them into shares this is beneficial in both ways investors can enjoy rights and dividends being shareholder of a company and company will save upon interest liability which lowers the cost of capital but if company don't want to issue such debentures then they may issue the normal debentures which are called non convertible debentures and if company wants to issue both type of debentures putting aside the thought of future returns then they may issue partly convertible debentures means only a part of debenture may get converted into share so this was on the basis of convertibility the next class of debenture depends upon the redeeming factor redeem means recover so it relates to when can debenture holders recover their money whenever a loan is borrowed there is always a fixed maturity period after which the entire loan amount is to be repaid right so as a company that borrows loan from the public they also have to pay the debenture holder back their money after a specific period and such debenture which company will issue for a limited period are called redeemable debentures and this period can be decided by the company it may vary in different countries as per the norms it is good from investor point of view as they have security and clarity on when they will get their money back but sometimes companies issue debentures which has no fixed date of redemption and these are termed as irredeemable debentures however in the interest of investors in many countries such debentures are not permitted to issue hope you are okay so far let's move on to the third type that is based on security factor for debenture holders daniel had a doubt that generally when loan is taken the individual has to secure an asset against it so will the company also need to secure any asset against debentures so yes depends upon what type of debenture you want to issue if you decide to give more security to your debenture holders then you can issue secured or mortgage debentures by mortgaging an asset against it and if you don't want to risk your assets or don't have any choice then you can issue unsecured debentures but of course public will prefer secured investments over unsecured ones so mr daniel has now understood about three different factors on which debentures are classified he wants to take a minute and go through it again you can also do the same all right should we proceed two more types to go 
Now, as an organization, there are limited assets and lots of debenture holders. Suppose if company has secured same asset to various debenture holders, then at the time of repayment, how will company pay back? Payment in that case will be done on the basis of priority or preference. It can be either record wise based on who has subscribed first or date of payment wise. Like let's say for example the company has mortgaged an asset to one debenture holder and after one year company has mortgaged same asset to another debenture holder. Now at the time of repayment the first debenture holder will have a first charge over the asset and the other debenture holder will have the second charge over the same asset. Whosoever is going to be paid first means that debentures are redeemed before other debentures as per the listing. They are termed as first debentures and the debentures are redeemed after the redemption of first debenture are called second debentures. Now you may be thinking, what about transferability? Can debenture be transferred like shares? Yes, they are transferable but when debentures are registered means they usually keep all records of debenture holders like their name, address etc in company's books. So transferring that may take some time but if company wants they may issue unregistered debentures wherein record of debenture holders is not maintained and transferring is easy as it is like a bearer check and can be easily endorsed further. But it is not advisable to issue unregistered debentures. So these were the various types of debentures. Daniel got pleased by knowing this information. He decided to issue debentures but he don't know about the procedure of it. So for that tune into our next session. Until next time keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.